And shoot some more space. Oh, this is that scam we're doing with the. Uh, oh, okay. With the uh, helping. This uh, is not scam. <laughs> I beg to differ. This is a clever bypass of the fascistic government system. Of the federal government. Okay. No less than what Donald Trump. So you want me to deposit this in the same method, through PayPal to the no edit side? Um, I right? made it out to you. Oh, okay. There's a book of Huang Po. Oh, yeah. That's okay. You don't have to grease every point down the pipe, really. There is $100 for PayPal, and then there's $100 for and Julie knows how that's going. Yeah. Well, I, I, oh, they I, take I, 100 I, bucks. They're I, such crooks. Yeah, I gave, I gave, Charlie? I gave uh, a bill to her. Oh, oh. Ah. Okay. So, okay. And, oh, no. and she has about a week or so, so you, you got some time to get that in. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. So we're at paragraph 10. What uh, people are into that they have fun. Oh, my friend. They, is that friend? I always thought they second. Got kicked off the that is second and third. I had a conversation with King King relating his, his idea of the one mile to the one beat. He had noticed it. He got kicked uh -huh. off on August 1st. So five months yeah. it's gone without an email. That's that's a very interesting piece of work. Oh. So I had to, I had to I was startled to, email to email. read it. Sorry about that. Oh, I, I was startled to read it. I should quit. No, right. Right. In terms of <laughs> his content <laughs> and the way that he talks right. about the mind. They don't the answer the mind. Yeah, it's very play. It's very tiny. Yeah. We don't want In fact, in the introduction, the guy says there's not many mystics. One of which being Plotinus. Yeah. And so, and I also wrote another translation of this guy by about Tibetan Buddhism. Like he wrote and translated stuff on Tibetan Buddhism. Oh yeah. And he used the same language throughout. Same language throughout that text also. I know that because I shop on the internet. You mean the translator? Yeah. Blue field. Wang Po goes outside of what is called Buddhism. How so? I still get a few emails. Well, they're really into phenomenology. I don't even. The Buddhists? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should. But he steps out of it. Sorry, who are we talking about here? Huang Po. Huang Po! I'm so glad. And, uh, I get my heart engaged. Yeah. He's into. Uh, yeah. Or key. Yeah. Was it? The second yeah. hypothesis. <laughs> What about? I'm curious I, about the second. I, are you interested in the second? I am method? curious about it more than like I'm, word perfect. But may I have your text? Oh, totally. I have a quote I too. Have oh, you do? Yeah. Go ahead. What page? Uh, I go. They they number them by or, paragraphs. Go ahead. They number just so number six. Uh, um. No. <laughs> So I'll just read you two parts. This mind is no mind of conceptual thought, and it is completely detached from form. So Buddhas and sentient beings do not differ at all. If you can only rid yourselves of conceptual thought, you will have accomplished everything. But if you students of the way do not rid yourselves of conceptual thought in a flash, even though you strive for eon after eon, you will never accomplish it. Enmeshed in meritorious practices of the three vehicles, you will be unable to attain enlightenment. Yeah. So that's like shunning the system. Yeah, that's, okay, cool. that's the usual shit. Hold on. <laughs> that was the first part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, read the, that's that that slip. Here, let, let me. That was the, <laughs> wait, he's got one more. <laughs> okay, what page? Well, 34. Huh? That sounds like a 34. threat more than a... Don't be any good. Is the name yeah. of the book Huang Po, or is it like Buddhist Zen profound teaching of Huang Po? Okay. On the transmission of mind. Good uh, title. Well, I don't know. Transmission of mind. Whatever they call mind. Really? From the folder um, to the emptier. I thought the task was to show its relationship to the second hypothesis. Oh, well, I mean, I, I am finding that right now. I thought it's a little more in the third. Says, that, that but whether they transcend conceptual thought by a longer or shorter route, the result is a state of being. Pardon, do it again, Say it again. Whether they transcend the conceptual thought by a longer or shorter route, the result is a state of being. That has nothing to do with it. Let me have your book. He put, he put being in italic. <laughs> being I a jerk is a state of being. What is that? Huh? <laughs> I have more quotes. So is a leaf. What? Is this your favorite guy right now? I just came across it. Here it is. Uh -huh. Okay. That's okay. I'm just curious. <coughs> I have a bunch of books on my shelf. Does this sound like the second hypothesis? 
this pure mind, the source of everything, shines forever and on all with the brilliance of its own perfection. So far, so good. <laughs> the people of the world are not <laughs> awake to it regarding only what sees, hears, feels, and knows as mind. Wow. Blinded by their own sight, hearing, feeling, and knowing, they do not perceive the spiritual brilliance of the source substance. If they would eliminate all conceptual thought in a flash, the source substance would manifest itself like the sun ascending through the void and illuminating the whole universe without hindrance or bounds. So at least they're in the uh, most brilliant light of being. Yeah, it sounds like a struggle between the third and the second hypothesis. That's where they are. Yeah, uh, they're either in time, damn it, yeah, they have no metaphysics. Or, or there's something transcendent which yeah. they don't like to share. <laughs> it's very abrupt. At one time, they're talking about this great state of the brilliant light of being, and in a flash and in a sudden, and what you'll experience this source substance. And then at another moment, you're just in concept, lost in conceptual thought. And there's no like uh, go between or technique, it's there's, just. There's no metaphysics. <clears throat> and how? Even though they start talk about these states, what do you mean by that? There's no metaphysics. There's no systematic way of understanding what they're saying. <clears throat> the distinctions that you are seeing, they do not treat uh -huh. as an object worthy of reflection and showing the necessity for each of the statements they make and link it to their own experience. Just experience, then. Well, it's, it's a blanket term, experience. I mean, just the experience of brilliant light of being is what they want to focus on. That state. Oh, well, okay. I mean, uh, uh, there's, there's no understanding of it. How does it relate to behavior? How does it relate to one's mind? How does one... How does that relate to drinking a cup of coffee or it's, 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 it's a second hand piece of work. <laughs> well, you know, I mean compared to the I mean if you were if we're comparing it with Parmenides. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And basically they have a phenomenological approach. All phenomenology has one problem. How do you understand the way the mind relates to phenomena? Mm -hmm. That's their goal. Well, so that's uh, the second, third hypothesis. Oh no, probably. Yeah, no, because <clears throat> since they can only assert things negatively about it, it's really in the, in the negative hypotheses. <clears throat> if you can make that kind of distinction, probably the eighth. But you were saying this guy stands outside of that. Hmm? This guy stands outside of that. He stands outside of phenomenology and their attachment to phenomenology. <clears throat> How does he stand outside of phenomenology? Well, the, he steps outside of it. By talking about the most brilliant light of being. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Because other Buddhists would say, that's an illusion, makyo. Even the brilliant light of being? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. What are they trying to do that? <laughs> well, have you ever read that work? Uh, it's a three or four pillars. Exactly. <coughs> last, uh, they, they, last they checked, it was three. Yeah. I think I only got through two, though. <laughs> See, those are all reframes of Yasutani. Yasutani used to say, thinking is the sickness of the mind. Uh-huh. And he repeats it, you know, endlessly. Right unless you read carefully. And he says, by the way, I really don't mean that. Uh, what I really mean is that uh, you have to get rid of all beliefs. Well, that's a hell of a difference between the, the two, isn't it? I'm sorry? There's 
That's a big difference between the two. Yeah, I mean, he calls this conceptual thought. Conceptual thought, conceptual thought, conceptual thought. He tries to distinguish between different types of thoughts. But I was wondering... See, that's cheating. Okay. Because... Why doesn't he simply say thought? Why conceptual thought? Does I was wondering about that. Does he define conceptual thought? I have not no. seen it yet in the text. I, not in, I don't believe it's in that work, or maybe I forgot it. I have been looking, terrible. attentively looking for a description of what he means by that, and I haven't found it yet. Yeah. I've been trying to fill it in on my own. <laughs> Good luck. I suspect it has to deal with belief. <clears throat> You know, this, this reminds me of something I've been wanting to talk with you about for a while. Um, uh, you know how you say in the divided line uh, that the this part, the what's called the CD part, right, always refers to the objects in the higher part, DE, right? CD is what? Dianoia. Oh, right, we're the, yeah, okay. we're the. Thank you. I've been reading, I've been into the that discussion a lot recently, and I noticed that the action of the dialectic is all over here. That's true. In the de part. Uh, uh, hey, yes Mark? or no? Just a quick flip of the camera. <laughs> thank you. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Well, at least in terms of when it's discussed explicitly, like for example at the end of the sixth book, he says, by the other part of things intelligible, I mean that which the reasoning power grasps itself, or the power of dialectic, yeah. you know, reason grasps, well, by I the was, power of dialectic. My only point was going to be, Dianoia's function is to, is to understand the knowing. See, that, that's, that's what I've See, That's our use of the word understanding is not for that. It's our world for understanding is to understand the phenomenal world. Right. But then why, since he puts geometry and all these other arts in here, astronomy... Pardon us, those, not taking those literally. No, 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 I'm not. Well, that's interesting. What, what you just said is interesting. Not taking those literally, okay. So you're saying that these arts are trying to understand knowing. Yes. Okay. Then why does he say they're in a dreamland about being? Well, <laughs> they don't have a waking state in respect to being. Oh, well, you, got, you have to put it, give me the context in which you, you can recall that quote. Well, except, I mean, context in the sense, since in the seventh <coughs> book. Do you recall the sentence where that expression is? Yeah, I can find it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> uh, and it, it's related to this, that mm -hmm. the conceptual thought business. Is dialectic, like, would they think that dialectic is conceptual thought? They don't understand. They haven't got the faintest idea of what Parmenidean dialectic is. They come out of Pyronianism, and that's out of... Uh, uh, sexist empiricus. It's all negative, you know. I mean, it's, uh, it's worth reading, by the way. Yeah, because this dialectic business gets gets it all. Yeah. In, yeah. in the public. Yeah. <coughs> like there's really there's really not there's, there's really nothing difficult about uh, Tibetan dialectic, which is. Uh, fundamentally, between any position, you can always find a positive and a negative of it that is equally balanced, and therefore you can never come to any conclusion about anything. Yeah. yeah so also, so. Sexus empiricus, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, at any rate, uh, no one will ever contradict us when we say that dialectic is some method of investigation different from these which tries to ascertain step by step about everything what each really is in itself. Nearly all the other arts are concerned with the opinions and desires of men, or generation and composition, or care, the care of things growing and being compounded. And the few which do take hold of truth a little, as we said, 
geometry and those which go with it, we see are in dreamland about real being. Yeah. And but to perceive with a waking vision is impossible for these arts. Yeah, that's true. So it, th that for me seems like a, a rejection that just de -annoia. No, he's talking, no, he, when he's talking about the arts, mm. all right, he is understanding it in a totally different way. He talks about all of the mathematicals, including music, etc., in two ways, one symbolically and one literally. When he's talking about it symbolically, that's in the seventh book in the teachings of the philosopher King. That's different than the quote that you have, which is then using it in the literal sense, in the popular sense. And in the popular sense, people are totally in the dark and in a walking mystery about being because they don't even deal with it. The principles again. They don't go back to what's behind things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. They don't explore what the things, what it means for the things to exist. Uh, the book. Pull the book. No. Okay. I have a couple I'm not sure I followed your distinction between symbolic and literal just now. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> okay. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. Good that you see it. Well, uh, I know. Yeah. I'd like to. Um. First, we'll use our our colleague. So, uh, have you ever taught uh, students uh, mathematics? I've tried, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, they seem would, to have learned. <laughs> would you do it the way in which Plato suggests you teach uh, arithmetic and then geometry? No. Why? Uh, they already want to be out the door. That would just give them more reason to go out the door like, hey, totally. wait, I'm not learning like techniques of solving equations, and I'm not... Uh, getting methods to solve these problems. Like, yeah, that didn't answer the question. Uh, it wouldn't work. Here, do it this way, okay? Mm. You're now going to teach this group arithmetic. Here it goes. Good luck. We're a motley crew. No, oh, okay. It starts here. The, the soul must be forced, you see, to be puzzled over this idea of the one. It must be puzzled. Here it comes. And inquire by stirring thought within itself and to ask, what after all is the one itself? Is that a good way to start class? Ask them. After all, what is the one in its own? No pun intended. <laughs> what, what do you think? What happens to your class? What happens to the class? Wait a minute, it's worse than that, you see. We want to do math. So the study of the one would be one of the studies which lead and divert the soul towards the contemplation of real being. That's what we do in schools. We don't, we do. <laughs> and in geometry, have you ever studied geometry, Virginia? Yeah, oh. I have. Yeah. Would you please uh, uh, explain to the group what geometry is following the model here? Okay. Here it goes. Geometry. We have to consider if the greater and the higher part of the study tends towards our end to make it easier to see the idea of the good. <laughs> All does this, we say, which compels the soul 
to turn around towards that region in which the happiest and most fortunate part of real being is, which the soul by all means must see. So geometry, if it compels the soul to contemplate being in its proper, if to contemplate becoming, it's not proper. Next. Uh, Glaucon says, yeah. <laughs> well then, no one who has any knowledge of geometry will deny to us that the science that we are speaking of goes clear contrary to the way in which geometricians talk. Okay. Teach, give us an example from your background of geometry that was a this condition. No. Is this geometry? Hmm. It's like that which is behind geometry. Yeah, but it's no longer geometry. No, yeah. So what he's talking about here, about the, the, these studies, is totally different than when he's talking about them in, in, in respect to the popular use of these terms. Yes, yes. And like that part that you're reading from arithmetic yeah. talks about inquiring yeah. Which is one of the major functions of dialectic. Yeah, right? that's right. And then later on, he talks about rising yeah. up to problems, yeah. exploring problems the yeah. same way that we did in another. And there are two parts of dialectic. One is in book six, and the other is in book seven, and they're different. So anyhow. Well, what's the difference? Oh, could, uh, yeah. <laughs> you'll have fun. Take a pull out. Just pull it out. You know where it is? Are we talking about the end of book six, or? Yeah. Well, I'll be doing geometry, Mr. Grimes, <laughs> Dr. Grimes. I'll be doing it if you get me into really doing the good grades that I'll get. And I'll really be. <laughs> now, wait a minute. OK, try it again. I was just thinking of how my students, some students would ask. Oh. I gotta remember what I said. I'll be doing geometry, all right. Just make sure that I really get the good grades, and I'll be in being good. Is there an ethnic cast to the way you're speaking? Yeah. What particular group? Hispanic, black, Asian? English. I mean, uh, black. black. Because they always say, I'd be, I'd be like this. Or I'll be like that. They're always in the subjunctive. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's making fun of kids still. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually a more archaic form of English. I'd be like this. Okay, one is a three three two, and the other is a three one one. They're different for good reason. Drop something. I'll pick it up in a second. Thank you. Okay. Three three two. Do you mean down here, or three three two? And the other one was. He's in the divided three, line. One, one. I think. Well, you got the Rouse on your phone? No, I'm just making. Oh, okay. Okay, the divided line. Now understand that by the other part, D-E, of things thought, I mean what the arguing process itself grasps by the power of dialectic. Treating assumptions not as beginnings but as literally hypotheses. That is to say, steps, springboards for assault from which it may push its way up to that region free of assumptions 
and reach the beginning of all and grasp it, clinging again and again to whatever clings to this, and so may come down to a conclusion without using the help of any anything that belongs to the senses. But only ideals themselves, and passing through ideals that may end in ideals. Conclusions ending in ideals. Then the dialectical method, 333. Then the dialectical method proceeds alone by this way, demolishing the hypothesis as it goes back to the very beginning itself in order to find firm ground that is, the soul's eye, which is really buried deep in a sort of barbaric bog. It draws out quietly and leads upwards. Hel uh, having the arts we've uh, described as handmaidens and helpers, these we have often term sciences from habit, but they belong to another name, when clearer than opinion and dimmer than science, we've defined it somehow as understanding. Is that the same thing or different? Different. You brought in the eye of the soul. And demolishing the hypothesis and the other is assuming the hypothesis and then going to a conclusion. This is not going to, can you see? It, it, uh, Isn't demolishing hypotheses and, uh, and, and no. an, an, an ireo? And, and uh, freeing oneself of assumptions, yeah. kind of the same process. Is it? Is, and is well, it in, anything in the, like freeing oneself from one's deliberative thought, one's beliefs? I'd go for that. But in the sixth book, but, uh, in are the three eleven, he talks about using them as steps and springboards for assault. Well, I see, this is the goal. If a man cannot distinguish by reasoning and isolate the idea of the good from all other things, he will declare that he doesn't know the real good at all. He must behave like a soldier in battle through all tests he must push, determined to test things not according to opinion but according to reality, and all these things pass through without a fall in his reasoning. If not, he will not say that, we will not say that he neither knows the good nor anything other good things and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? So the big question is that Nancy asked me. She said that she heard that David is interested in mastering the second hypothesis. <laughs> Which has an assumption behind it that, yes, I have not yet mastered the second hypothesis. But he's interested, she said, no. in the fact that he is determined to master the second hypothesis. I am. <laughs> right? And would you not agree we have a good candidate? Who? Right? Yes, that's true. And it's only fair. You. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let, come on, let, let's be democratic, okay? That's Isn't it important now That's that we get a volunteer to do the first hypothesis? Right. What do you think? Fantastic. Agree? Okay. Democratically determined. Mm -hmm. okay. All those <laughs> good. Yeah. There was a majority of those that voted. Right. Cold. Okay. Right? And, 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 and then you'll have to show how his hypothesis in no way can be conjoined with my hypothesis, although somehow his hypothesis will give birth to my hypothesis without, which was the discussion you're having that I walked yeah. on last yeah. night. Say, David, who do you think ought to be a good volunteer for the third hypothesis? <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't want to do that to anybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, then, well, fair enough. We'll look for someone who volunteers themselves. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know, I was into uh, Thomas Taylor's translation of Parmenides this morning and some mm. of his commentary. And he raises the idea there's only one hypothesis. Of course. Of course. Two, three, four. There's only one hypothesis. 
Here you go, Brad. <laughs> but that's the significance of him saying, should I start with my own hypothesis? Yeah, yeah that's the second one. That's the first. <clears throat> Chet, did you get that discussion that David walked in on, on the tape last time? But, but did we sidetrack that about All looking for a volunteer yes. to do the third? <laughs> yeah, I, yes. I, I did. <laughs> uh, did you raise your hand for that? Oh, well, I'd like to master it all. Of course, well, okay. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. What do you say, Barbara? But, yeah, he yeah, should. No he could. Point. He wants hey. to. Let, let him go for it. What do you think? Vote or sure. unanimous? Yes. It'll be it's nice a, to know. One will be easy, right? Well, the third will be easy. Well, if it's only one hypothesis, I might as well, right? <laughs> But we Are, need, you yeah, just last slide. Okay. Wouldn't you agree that Nancy should make a record of the effect the mastery of these hypotheses has on each of the people who's accepted this challenge? Definitely. It's a research project. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what particular <laughs> path of logos come up in the exploration of it? Mm. That could be your part. That, yeah. Right. Map the PMW part. Maybe Good there's thought. Okay. Maybe there's particular images for particular hypotheses. Actually, I can share like the oh. fir one of the first times I went through the first oh. over here. Hey, it's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was similar. It was similar. What I experienced was similar to uh, um, demo this description demolishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was like, uh, yeah, my concepts or my ideas or beliefs were getting smashed <laughs> as I was going through the mm, hypotheses. I distinctly remember it was like, uh, it was very much like that. Mm -hmm. I, I had never experienced anything like that before. Uh, it was like, <laughs> these layers uh, mm -hmm. being... Mm. Punch through, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, Nancy, did you, did you get what effect it had on him now that we got an I, account I just, of what it was like for him to go through it? Are we not interested in knowing so what? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Just answer him. <laughs> well, it just, it <clears throat> kind of forced you uh, into uh, it put you in a state of uh, a period um, a state of a state of um, purity no not purity period purity. like purity no oh. <laughs> <laughs> a state of period <laughs> no a state of unknowing like I don't I don't purity like uh, it was like it was like uh, I don't want to say shoving, but it was like um, putting your soul uh, in a particular vantage point, and as if you were ready for. You, I had no idea. Like I, I, I was getting more and more into unknowing mm. or recognizing that I like I was I didn't even uh, yeah I agree with you that yeah it's hard to put all together yeah well, but uh, yeah, yeah. it was it was radical right it was like I'd never experienced anything like that before ever mm. uh, I still remember yeah is that why you dropped out, or did you continue with this work? What's the part? What? Parmenides. Parmenides. Have you? Did you decide then to stay in it? By heavens, you are one of those people, aren't you? That show yeah. up in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the the power was uh, uh, it did something to me, right? It was yeah. yeah it, 
Like I, 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 I should have gone further from where I stopped at the at the time. Right? Mm. Actually, I don't think I've really even gone further since then, really. <laughs> That's true. Because? It was, it was overwhelmingly powerful. Like I said, I'd never experienced anything like it. And to go back into it willingly means what? I'm going to get into that more. Right? Mm. Got a Ooh. good candidate? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right on time. Yeah. 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 Have, you, have you gotten uh, what we usually sell at this point in our exercise? What's that? Yeah. What? A parachute. Oh. <laughs> it's going to clip it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if you get too high, jump. <laughs> So you're going to get back into that curious stage. By the way, have you ever experienced that same stage uh, any other time in your life? I don't think so. It's hmm. different. Uh, do you ever recall the, uh, your sittings in uh, Zen? It was different. How was it different? It was just, it was stripping away mm. methodically, like stri just stripping, it was like stripping layers off my mind. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Mm. And it was being like, I was being like led or forced into a conclusion. Like it was like. Sixth, yeah, that's dialectic in the sixth book. You were forced into a conclusion. And it was real, like it, yeah. this was a vital, mm. living, psychic trip. Sounds good. What do you think of that? What do you want to ask him? Um, I don't know, but I remember, I rem I, it was a long time ago, after I first met you, but I remember you um, sharing some of the experiences of sitting, which were, they were, they sounded like they were up there, you know, seeing diamonds. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, I mean, I don't know if I, like, I mean, I don't know what I would ask you really, like, I mean, maybe... Um, I don't know. I mean, com you know, com I don't actually really, I don't know if I have a question. I do. I have a question. I think Ingmar beat me to the punch. Um, you mentioned that n beliefs that you had were being negated. Like you said, no, no. Like, what, what were they that were being negated? Like, how so? Just, right, if, if the one is, can it be many? Can't be many, right? Because if they have parts, just like going through the first thing. Well, I was I, the reason why I ask is it sounded, given your description so far, it sounded more like it was really the effect on you was more of what was worthy of commentary rather than that specific beliefs were being negated. Like I, I'm not sure which like. Good point. Good point. Oh. That's right. Right, yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get you to be more yeah, precise. What would you say? What's behind that word, okay? <laughs> that seems more accurate. <coughs> because, yeah, I don't, I don't see them either. Yeah, like what's the The, is? the beliefs. Oh. So then you would say... It wasn't a systematic rejection of beliefs, but I 
but you're peeling away each of those ideas from the idea of the one. Yeah, or concepts or idea, or it's like it's like he he's it's just getting cleared what he's exploring, mm -hmm. right? I like that. Yeah, more than the other way of describing. Yeah. <sighs> Kind of depends, though, doesn't I, it, on whether there was a progression. <coughs> this connects to what he was saying. Whether there was a progression in your state of mind, Bradley, from one to the second to the third to the fourth. It seems to me that just even as the questions are build, building, um, it would seem to me that if there were a difference in the state of mind of an, any kind, then mm -hmm. it would seem like it's connected to the content of the question. <coughs> but this would... You mean the one to the two, the the hypotheses? No, no, no. The <coughs> if it's many, can oh. it be many? If it yeah. can't be many, then yeah, all of that sequence. Yeah. It, yeah. So I wondered whether there was. It sounded in the first account as if there were a deepening or some progression in your state. I know that at oh, the yeah. end you talked about not knowing, but. Is there any way of describing what that, tra you know, what was happening there? Um, I, that's a good way to talk about it. Yeah, I was progressing, right? Um, hmm. Becoming clear. Clearer? Okay. Because I had never encountered anything like that ever, right? Like this reasoning process. I was mm. like, Boom! Oh yeah! Boom! Oh yeah! Boom! Hmm. See, it's, <laughs> a, <laughs> hit. it's a boom now rather than a no. Well, yeah, read it. <laughs> boom! boom. Oh, I've, I've read it's it. Boom! I like boom. <laughs> I like <laughs> boom. <laughs> right, because I had never encountered anything like that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm uh, interested in knowing <laughs> how much you can remember about what you went through just before you stopped. Oh yeah, there's a, it was overwhelming, like I said. It was what I went through right before I stopped. Yeah, right, like did any thoughts come to mind? <laughs> yeah. Just right beforehand. This was like 2001, so it was a little while ago. Uh, did you go all the way to the end of the first? No, no, oh, okay. I, it, got, that was it got shut down. Okay, so do you remember uh, where in the first you stopped? Yeah, it was like you had nothing else to stand on. That's what it was. <laughs> it was like I saw where this was going. Like, like. At the precipice. Yeah, it's like, I see where this is headed. It's already. Any other times in your life you've had that uh, precipice? Uh, yeah. One <laughs> Yeah, what comes to mind is when I was at the Zen Center LA, one time it seemed like time and space collapsed in the corner. It's kind of similar to that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you stirred your memory up. I asked you about the same thing, and now you're recording. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, I was taking that negative, like it went into like... But yes, that's true. It's, it's somehow good. similar. Oh, that's good. Now, could... Yeah. There you were in the corner, and what did you do with it? Did you march into one of the Zen, the Dokusan? <laughs> no, it was at the end, I think. It was at the end of this period, the, the session. It's probably because it was irrelevant to what they were doing. Or, or, or was it? No, it wouldn't be irrelevant. Oh, I then. No, I think the, the point was is that because it was towards the end of the sitting session, he didn't have a chance to go into Dokusan. That's bullshit. It's bullshit, okay. <laughs> he knows it's bullshit. You could have gone in and pounded on the door and... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sure. See? <laughs> or, I don't know if they had interview then. It doesn't matter. You could have... Confronted them. Confronted them? Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I 
a smile comes to his face, I noticed as he says that. Go grab someone's robe. Come here. Hey. <laughs> Get over here. Confronted them? What would it be like to present your state of mind to them? You know, that was the game you're in. You're in an interesting state of mind. Finish it. Well, yeah, then it would have been challenging, right? Or showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, how do you mean for that? Yeah, I was just kind of doing my own thing there. It, you like, called it your own thing? Well, no, I mean, I see. I, I, see. I wasn't really. <laughs> yeah. I was just like this philosopher at the Zen place. Doing his own hypothesis yeah. of himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the same boat. Yeah. Um, philosopher and agenda and a Zendo? Yeah. And it's, and it's, it's a tough, it's a tough, kind of. tough kind of thing to do because um, I actually got into some nice states doing the who's watching, but um, they did their best to convince me to go back to counting my breath. Uh, they they had a kind of a um, uh, God the, the mechanics. Why? Uh, yeah. Um, Mechanics. You know, I, I have to admit that there's a certain amount of uh, preparation that goes into Strong City, and I haven't been doing that preparation. And so that week up there was a week to kind of get back into just learning how to sit on a pillow, and I may have been getting my, ahead of myself in 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 terms of their discipline, I'm sure they would have liked me to go there at some point. But um, I was uh, I was going off the rails when I went up there, and I really needed a place just to kind of quiet down. Okay. And and I think and I and I let them know that. And, uh, did you then do the breathing? Yeah. And and then I did the breathing, and the breathing was enough at that point uh, to focus me in, in in ways that I think were good for my health and my my. Uh, any future practice, really. I wasn't trying to um, take the mountain by storm. Uh, I might have to take a few trips. You know, I just wonder about the morning sessions. It seems to me it's like being at a zendo. Sorry. Like being at a zendo in the mm -hmm. terms of the degree of focus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so... I wonder if you're being fair to yourself to say that you were out of practice. Because uh, those are like an hour and a half long. Yeah, yeah. It may not have been. It may not have been. And uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting, so uh, well, and I'm and I'm counting my breaths. And and believe me, uh, the kind of thinking that's coming up is the kind of discursive thinking that I think most of these guys are saying you need to look at and set aside. So uh, there's, to some degree, there's part of the process is, is valid. Uh, I don't think um, jumping into what is, in, what is seen and he hearing right away is in their playbook. Mm. They, it's in their book. It's, yeah, that's baloney. He said it's the right away part. Right, right away, right away is, is in their playbook. Uh, what the hell does that mean? Well, I'll just You've been practicing Zen for how many years? Yeah. Well, off and on for <coughs> most of them. So, um, you had an enlightenment experience 35 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell them that? Yeah, they, they weren't interested. I hope not. That's, that's not... Um, uh, Isn't that they, what they the breathing does, to, though? Huh? Like if you're sitting and meditating, you're just counting numbers. Your mind's gonna be like, "Well, f this after a little while. Let's give it something more important." And here comes your, your discursive thoughts, which are yet to be taken care of, as opposed to sitting with the question, "What is watching?" And that's like a more directing at the source. Mm -hmm. So like, hence those discursive thoughts wouldn't necessarily come up as much, or they would come up as pathologos problems. Um. My discursive thoughts are, are, are a lot of pathologos, and 
it was interesting studying. I got them into several categories and categories of thinking which I've been dealing with and, and basically overcoming in terms of my own behavior. There's a couple of things that haven't fallen into place yet, but there were some things I needed to look at in terms of um, uh, anger came up, um, attachment to work, the everyday work problem that I have, the, the busyness problem, that came up a lot. And so, and I think I think I made a few leaps and, and, and advancements in that area. I'm not quite so attached to looking around for working projects to do. Um, and, uh, and 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 uh, the anger that I have about certain things that have happened in the past, I'm able to um, let go of a lot easier. So it was a very helpful week, and, and, and I needed to look at some of that stuff. Um, but it was more therapeutic than it was philosophical or even Buddhist. Well, that's philosophical. <laughs> that's what? That's philosophical. <laughs> what? Getting rid of pathologos. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah right. Okay. Something provided you the space, though, separate from those thoughts to be able to see them. You have some states still separate from them. Where did that come from? Jeff? Time? time? 20 yeah. after 11? Huh? 11, 20? Thank you. 11, 20, really? You mean other than, uh, other than just... Letting letting thoughts come as I was breathing. What, what do you, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Uh, I'm, I'm Rather not. than being in them and having them take you over and being swept away from them or wrapped up in the drama of them. Yeah, it was the watcher. I'm sure. I mean, it was it was something that was <laughs> revealing groups of patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, and but but the fact that I could sort them into oh oh I'm off on that realm again or I'm off on the the two main things were the injustices I may have suffered, and my attachment to work. Those two things kept coming up over and over again. And, uh, so I kind of lost your question there, but, no, but, but, no. but being able to see those I was from, just from an like, outside what, point of view. Like Barbara's been talking about these morning, fo morning meetings as requiring focus and being like as participating in a zendo. Mm -hmm. But it's also been engendered in the question of what is watching. And so you might have walked in not as bad shape as you actually presented when you first told us the story of your, your going meditation. off the rails. Yeah, going off the rails. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Came in pretty warmed up. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I it's not like I, I, I hadn't been. Yeah, the, the, those morning things are, are, are a kind of meditation that put me in a nice place and probably a better place than a lot of people. I don't know what a lot of people were sitting thinking about, but uh, um, I think I had many directions I could have gone. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it possible that, maybe this has been said already, So, uh, but is it possible that a pathologos can operate in a zendo? Like, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> like these guys... They got a sign on the front. Right? I mean, I, I think this is what you guys are all... Right? <laughs> Like these guys see you getting there, blowing the whole thing open, and they're like, "No, no, no!" Uh, and they give you a vision of yourself. Uh, no, no, no! You're off the rails. You need to. You need to just stay breathing, because it threatens their image of themselves. Yeah, it sounds like membership. Somebody walking in with logos, right? The breathing, the, like, <laughs> oh yeah, they logos. they do want you to. Um, this is this is not the Maizumi game that we used to play. This is, this is, I call it, uh, counting your breath light. Uh, and, I, and I went in the last time and I said, look, you know, um, this isn't the way we used to count our breaths. We used to count our breaths like you had a red hot iron ball in your belly and you couldn't let go of it and that's all you concentrated on and that's, you know, and if nothing else you got a hell of a wallop of jariki when you came out of there. If the, and, and I don't believe how much patience it would take to do the kind of thing they're doing. Because it would take years, I think. Um, unless, you know, they have very light breathing, very, um, they're, they're not into pushing at all. This is the same session at which you had 
the sense that there was no beginning or end to the breath? Yeah. How come that was left out of the story? That's what I want to know. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I thought that I've, was I've a... had that experience before in, in counting breaths. and, and oh, but, nice. but, but putting the two together, um, um, uh, the point of no entry of number, yet there's number. The hmm. point of no entry of uh, breath, but there's breath. Um, and um, and and watching that and uh, just to see how really empty that state is. Mm -hmm. Did is. you report that to them? No. Well, they might have told you to go home. What? I only had you know there was only so much time. Yeah. Was okay. like, is it was it Fletcher, Chuck, the Englishman? Uh, yeah, um... There were three Roshis. There were three Roshis there at the time. So the breathing you did, uh, where did you, where did you experience it? I, I... By, I physiologically. Physiologically, I have developed a style of breathing. Charlie Swank shared it with me. He said he got it from my Zumi Roshi, which was um, to roll your breathing roll it down, but see how deeply you can roll it into your hara mm -hmm. before the transition. Mm -hmm. And then bring it back up as much as it needs to go, and then it rolls forward and out again. <coughs> and, and that really does push it down below yeah. this level here. You know, mm -hmm. and it's easy to separate this level blah, 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 from, mm -hmm. and, and really focus on that. If you can get it down into, there's a power and, and you can, there is a power point to that, but yeah. also there's a strength just in getting it mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. And I think I've lived with that all my life. Yeah. That was something that never really went away, that yeah. I had uh, a, a breath that was that's below, good stuff. Yeah. below <laughs> my diaphragm. Yeah, probably the one thing wow. that's kept me alive all the time. Yeah, building up Jeriki. Yeah. And then not playing that game. What's that, Pierre? They're not playing that game anymore. They're not, no, the Jariki game is out, and that's kind of a pity. Uh, uh, what because, is their game? C c huh? I'm oh, sorry, keep going. Because that was fun. That was that gave a whole dynamic quality to these sessions. And uh, uh, everybody walks around serious, but for no reason. Back then, everybody walked around serious, because get out of my way, I'm working. You know, um, uh, it was different back then. So uh, I'm, I'm breathing on my own, and uh, yeah, I do start with counting my breath, and occasionally I'll, I'll go into uh, to watching. But um, I'm, I'm actually more interested in developing Jariki right now. And more interested. I'm more interested in developing Jariki right now. No. Sure. I, I think it's a tool I need to get through these next couple of years. Well, if you can't get training in that at the Zen Mountain Center, is there any other place around that's... As time and money permits, I'll, I'll explore other places. I haven't been to... You've been to the CCLA and what lately, haven't you? Did you go to the Rohatsu? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to go to a... I thought you were down there in L.A. or something. Okay. Um, Went to another one. What would it be like to hold on to that scene, watcher? Game. The Watcher game? Yeah. The Watcher's a, a much more powerful place to come from in sitting than the breathing. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. Uh, it, it, thoughts still come up. It's more like a shikantaza kind of thing. Yeah. I think they're very That's similar. Right. I think they're very similar. Um, to, to, to step, to step beyond any conception of um, manipulating in any mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And, and whatever comes, comes, but you've really got to not identify with it. I was wondering if you were actually integrating the two. Because when you talk about breathing, you talk about lowering your breath into a heart and it gives you this power and it, it goes out and it comes in. And you say you're not up here. What kind of thoughts are you associating with the up here? That, that catalog of thoughts I shared earlier, things about possessions, uh -huh. things about um, projects, 
uh, things about finding work to do and things about um, uh, this anger I have from these injustices. Sur surface is your problem. Surface is my problem. Oh. But then also then by lowering your breathing, you said you get focused. Focus into what? It's easier to focus on nothing with the watcher than it is with the counting breathing. So is the, oh, okay, but the breathing doesn't get you to that state? The breathing doesn't get me to that nothing state as fast as the watcher does. Oh, okay, I see that. So you do practice them separately? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, did you know that Adina has uh, sent me an e email she has family relations back in Bulgaria and a home that has in her family nine bedrooms in one house and she's offered it up for a seminar and uh, just keep that, well, pass we that around. Trump to lend us his jet? <laughs> it's, in, in. <laughs> it's in Transylvania. Yeah. Yeah, you, may, you may have to go there by, by wagon. But your family, family isn't going to be in the house at the same time? Well, uh, that's, that's all I know. Ah, okay. I, so I thought I'd mention it at this point. Uh, Romania. Romania, okay. Wow. Are they related to gypsies that know the way of the like, wild mushrooms? It's, it's uh, wild, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, know, you, walk right, you walk right out of the forest and find something to shop up? Or? That's a nice offer, though. We can afford it. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's easier it's, to buy her a ticket to come here than to go there. For all of us to go yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. But not there wouldn't be fun. It'd be fun. No, you're right. Yeah. Probably cost just as much as us one. <laughs> uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, the, the plane, the plane ticket notwithstanding, mm. everything else would be real cheap. No. Well, what do you think, offhand? Do you have any idea what the, the ticket might be? I'm sure the ticket would be um, close to a grand. It's That's time right. for, yeah. bus for business. And time of the year, too, right? Well, yeah, you, you don't want to go to Romania in the winter time. I think it would be nice to go in the early, late spring, uh, early fall. But other than that, it's. No, but I was thinking of the effect on the air airline prices. Is time of the year dependent, right? Yeah, I don't follow that that much. I, I fly pretty much for free. What's, the, I go. what's the big airport nearby? It would have to be Belgrade or something, you know. Um, you, you're gonna you're gonna take a couple of extra flights, yeah. and and ultimately end up on a wagon going up an old road. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it an open 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 ended offer? Or? I think it's open ended. Yeah. yeah. Open ended means open to the NS group, yes. <laughs> she it's very it. difficult to be part of the NS. There's a family <laughs> show up. They just have to Does agree to be a member. <laughs> here. Does the did she say whether the family lives there and are not there I, at a certain literally, time? Literally I have no it's, it's an empty, I have it's, no information. Oh, it's, it's an empty, empty. it's yeah. an empty kind of uh, everybody lives in town, just about them out in the country, on a lake, in the mountains. Wow. Sounds great. Yeah. It's like a shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like how far away Can is that from Athens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's been a month there. Yeah. Moving yeah. in for a month. Yeah. yeah. Get our answer right here. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great sound box. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Peter, I have a question. You always ask the meditators if they brought their states to the Roshis. And I keep wondering about this because the way that we talk about the states, these Roshis aren't really capable of appreciating. Like, don't they run into a problem that they're going to bring their state, which is filled with experience and vision and logos, to somebody that just doesn't want to deal with that? So, like... It's their game. It's the, the Zen game? It's their game. They have to deal with you. The judging states of mind is the Okay. Name. That's the right. Roshi's job? That's their uh, job. Whatever you bring, that's their, their game. And then they're supposed to tell you whether it's pure or not? Or, like, what do they do? Like, 
I've never understood the Zen game, so although I went to some sessions, I was like, why would we right. here? They're supposed to be able to judge states of mind of enlightenment, right? Whether or not you're in it or not. That's right. Uh -huh. That's their only claim for fame. The Roshis, they can tell whether you're enlightened or not. No, that's their claim. <laughs> yes, okay. But then we have these fine philosophers here having these high-level experiences that we find in the text. They're not, would they be able to see the enlightenment in it? Or, I mean, what, are they walking into a, like, already... I wonder if they're setting themselves up to get an appearance of failure when, in fact, they're succeeding. Well, that's the problem that I have with the second hypothesis now. Oh, yes. What well, I've understood with it is not something I can demonstrate. And the Roshis are into demonstration. And, mm -hmm. and, and so... Uh, pardon. Uh, I don't know about that. Where, where is the problem of demonstrating? Well, I don't understand it that much. No, no, because you're carrying your understanding with you. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. There, there. I have not yet nailed down the, the, the second hypothesis to the yeah. point where I could. Yeah. Be there. Be there. Yeah, that's all. And and so there, there's no problem with it, and yeah. and I'd really like to try that. Yeah. You know, it might get me barred or something, but. Um, that's normal. Um, no, because I like. Stop that I, man! Look at that state of mind. Back, back. Sorry, yeah. I was just mm -hmm. demonstrating. Um. But uh, so so that's uh, that's what I came down the mountain with. How how can I that that's why I mentioned the second sure. hypothesis. Because that has to be, a, I have never been able to convince myself that I know how to demonstrate that. We have to go. I have an un, un, uh, a surprise appointment that I didn't realize I was involved in. So i got to leave a little early. That's okay. Do we know whether you guys are going to be here tomorrow? We are here for a while. Yes. Ah. Okay. So does that mean Wonderful. Parmenides is on? Probably up until Christmas. But, really? Maybe. But you you will not you won't be here until Wednesday Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll have to see about Thursday. Okay. So Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday. Yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday. It's, it's, it's are out. a it's an interesting uh, they found out that my heart stopped for uh, a certain period of time, and uh, the doctor I have thought that was rather important. No. Uh, Old she, school. What Old she know? school. <laughs> I think it's important. How, yeah, well, that you know, sounds important. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they did um, a... It's related to One that. of those EKGs, you know. They're and figuring at a certain that out. point, there's a flat I'm line, the you know, was in before. nothing is going on. Mm. <laughs> so they're going to put in a, a ticker on me. What do oh, they call them? Pacemaker. Pacemaker. Yeah. Mm. Kickstart. Have they put so, in those monitors uh -huh. that check out? Like it's been relaying information to the doctor for the past almost a month, and that's uh -huh. where they found when he's asleep, there are periods where his heart goes to 20 and 30 beats a minute, and there are periods so far only when he's asleep where it stops for three to four seconds, mm -hmm. and they don't want that to happen when cool. he's awake. Uh, especially if they're they cautioning me in driving, mm -hmm. driving, that often is a problem. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so we, we so they're going to put it in. Postulated talking today, but is there another day when we might talk before? Um. Tomorrow? tomorrow. Um, yeah. Is tomorrow? that okay? Yeah. I have two talks tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Or the we do it? Okay. Or, or, or Tuesday? No, Tuesday. Tuesday's out. Okay. Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday okay. are totally yeah. out. And we'll see how things are after. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Monday. Yeah. Is Monday possible? So, so, I hate to load two talks. So, that's so I asked him what's the cause of it. No, it's, it's, wow. it's like a little electrical. My, my dad used to put in pacemakers for 30, 40 years. They're, they're very safe. Okay, good. I did as much research as I could, and I didn't come up with anything no, problematic. They're good, they're good so. stuff. It's just a little thing. It just sends a little electrical signal. Keep One thing. Going. Uh -huh. 
you know, this, this doctor, I asked him about the cause and he had a really good answer. I don't know. Age. Oh. Mm. Mm. I said, yeah, I've been around. So what else do you know? Anything about pacemakers? You, yeah, anything else you want to... No, I could ask okay. my dad if there are any concerns. He certainly would know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I got just this quick announcement. Um, no. I'm going to be out of town from the 16th with Sam from the 16th of December to the 6th of January. Wow, that's a long time. So we'll be out for a while. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. burn off some vacation and sick time. So um, Good. any help that anybody wants to give, recording, sending me things, taking pictures of charts, uh, you know, Barbara, Yanni, I'll, David, I'll everybody's jumped in in the past. So, but I'll, I'll be gone. So okay. and we'll try to keep them getting them posted sure. remotely. Thanks. Okay. Thank okay. you. Got to go. Okay. okay. Talk to you later. Good luck. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Gina? Does that mean your place is open? Sure. Thank you. Okay. I just wanted to check. Thanks for understanding. Oh, but it was unexpected. Oh, so, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So you never asked your question?